So here we want to show you the maintenance and the operation of the Curly's Cracker 2. There's a couple of things you need to keep in mind once you purchase these. Um, first of all, there's a lot of variation on this for different soil conditions and different um, soil preparations requirements. Starting from the fork adjustments to the, to the wheel depth to the cracking depth. So we're going to start it first of all with our, our, our wheel adjustments. So depending on your row width and depending on your bed width or whatever you want, you can vary that however you, however you see fit. So to, to change your in and out width for your wheels, first of all you'll need a shifter spanner and a bit of timber or something. So what you want to do, there's a, there's a nut in here, you want to loosen that. When you get yours new, this may possibly not be in there, the, the leg and you'll have to stick it in there. And it's just as simple as just inserting it through this hole and tightening up this nut. So I'll undo this here first. Then what you want to do is get your block of timber and slide it underneath the bottom here as far as you can get it in. That's with the wheel up. So you've got the up and down mechanism. Now what you want to do is you want to flick the wheel down and that'll take the pressure off your wheel. You can then slide it to wherever you want it. And then you can tighten your, well you can stand that back up and tighten your nut back up. So I'll just tighten that back up in place. You want to ensure this nut's fully tightened before you put the weight on it. Otherwise, it may drift in and out as you're cracking. And that's how you space your wheels in and out. It has a maximum spacing of about 1200 millimeters and it's got a minimum spacing of about 800 millimeters. Now for your wheel operation, just quickly, this here has a various depth setting. So you don't have to crack to the bottom of the fork every time you crack. It's got three depths you can set it on, depending also on the elevation of your bed. So what you want to do is this currently is in crack mode with the with the wheel fully down. So what that does is it lowers your fork. When you want to drive, what you want to do is you want to get this lever around the front, lift it up, and then push that up and over. Now you are in drive mode. So this is to transport it around the farm. Now as you can see here in these holes, there's two other settings, there's two other settings. It's 50 mil apart and you can lift that wheel up 50 mil so you can lift it up another 200 mil with all with them extra holes and you simply do that by taking the weight off it undoing this bolt lifting up the next one and then with that you can um, then re-engage it back up to full height to vary the crack on your fork there's a pivoting mechanism in here so your fork is a consumable um, it will wear out over time depending on the amount of use it has but you know you might get anywhere between 5 and 25 years depending on what you're doing with it. So that complete fork will bolt off by undoing these 12 bolts around here but also these 12 bolts are used for adjusting the crack on your fork. So if you tighten your one up and you loosen the one off it'll either give you more crack or less crack and that will that'll depend on the amount of soil it lifts whether you want to have a a quite an aggressive lift or you want to have quite a soft sort of a just a, a fork in and a fork straight back out again so the degree the it'll de vary 10 degrees either way forwards or backwards the main articulation on the bcs is for the steering as this item here weighs uh, approximately 200 kilos it cannot um, steer with the with the brake so we developed this articulation so that it can work as any articulated vehicle. Now, this has quite a, a severe degree of, of turning capacity, which is made for maneuverability around the field, either forwards or backwards, turning up to 45 degrees at a time. Um, however, it is not to be used while the PDO is engaged. If you, if you move over 10 degrees with the PDO engaged, you will overstress the universal joints and possibly snap. Now, this is not covered under warranty. You need to ensure that only um, severe turning is done when the PDO is disengaged. This is your main shaft that holds the forks onto the gear movement. Now this shaft here will have a nut on both sides and they'll be loctited from assembly. Now you just need to maintain um, that they 
haven't moved too far out or too far in, the end of the shaft should be pretty well flush with the edge of the nut. Um, this shouldn't move, but it's just a maintenance that you should just keep an eye on every now and again when you take the cover off and you check the rest of your vehicle over. So this here is the main power transmission of the Curly's Cracker 2. It takes the power from your BCS, drives it through your, your articulation, through your power coupling into this gearbox. Now this gearbox serves the main purpose of the forwards motion, driving that motion into your gears and down to your cracker. As these, these being a chain drive, the chains over time will wear and they will get loose. So there's two sets of holes in this bottom plate um, and that's to either adjust to make the chain tighter or looser. And also the bolts may also be slightly loosened and as, they go, as the chain goes loosening up, you can tighten them bolts and that there will tighten your chain down and it'll maintain it tight. It's not important that the chain is extremely tight like they will be when you buy them. If there's a little bit of slack in them, that's okay. When you first purchase your Curly's Cracker 2, the whole system should be will be fairly tight. It may or may not freewheel as the forks being up. So we have devised this um, non-reverse mechanism in here, which what it does is when the forks want to drop down, this here jams in the chain and it stops it from moving. However, when it starts up again, it's fine because it comes loose, it goes that way, and it'll just, just flick over it. So when you're cracking and you get to the end of your bed and you stop, you also want to make you always want to make sure your forks have come up, they've finished the cycle, they've come fully up and just over top dead center and then this here will come into action. Otherwise they'll want to go down, sorry before you get to top dead center, otherwise they'll want to go down over the next thing and your forks will drag in the dirt and that's just wreck your machine. To assemble a cow, it's a very simple procedure, just pick it up Always start from the back and roll, and roll it over and that'll simply sit in place. Now these here may come with bolts in them uh, with, with self-tapping screws. They can be removed and left out if you so much as desire. I don't put mine in just so for ease of removal and putting it back if I want to do any maintenance or inspections. So depending on your soil conditions and your uh, personal strength uh, will depend on how much weight you need on this fork. So this assembly weighs approximately 200 kilos, but there's a good chance if you're of a lot of build and you have heavy clay soil, you'll need extra weight. So that is the reason that this here is made so unergonomic. You'll notice if you've ever driven one of these that your feet hang half off the back here. It's not made for midgets. Um, it's just that this here is made to in-house these solid bricks. Now, these here are a standard item in Australia. Um, you can purchase them at any Bunnings or any hardware store or um, brick place. We don't sell them with the kit because they're very expensive to ship and they're very cheap wherever you are. And I believe that they're a standard size in the US too. But you will simply get one of these and slip it on the side like so. another one and they will now be tight in there and they won't move as you go cracking now you can stack two or three of these high each brick weighing approximately 20 to 25 kilos it adds a lot of weight really quickly which is often what we want for when we're cracking hard soil so without any further ado let's get cracking <laughs> 